Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have another Star Wars whiskey on my cask. This time it's a single barrel with an age statement or a vintage where you can calculate the age statement. It's from 2017 to 2021. Although that subtracted would give you four years, but it's exactly, uh, it's only uh, three and a half years because it was filled, the barrel was filled uh, in 08, 2017 and bottled in 02, 2021. So it gives you roughly six months. So it's about a half a year. Barrel number 4,289. And the barrel was a French oak cask. And the French oak had um, French red wine in it. And that red wine came from the Barossa Valley. Um, the master distiller is uh, called David, or the founder is called David Vital, and he's from Italian heritage, and he is very keen on uh, red wine or wine casks in general. And he is uh, very specialized, so this is probably one of these, his experiments or yeah, his projects that he wanted to fulfill with this Australian uh, cask. Um, yeah, the problem is for Australia that they have a very hot climate. It's very a lot of temperature differences. So the the wood is expanding and uh, decreasing in size a lot. So you have a lot of contact with the wood where it soaks up and gives out the uh, the juices, and therefore it's a very very fast maturation. And we see a three year old whiskey that dark. Mm, that is only possible in a country where it's very hot and very, let's say, it uh, uh, changes a lot in the temperature. Um, yeah. On the back, they say its uh, its whiskey character is quiche, apple strudel, and nutmeg. I didn't even know that apple strudel is an English word. I always thought that was a German word, Apfelstrudel. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Wow. It's a it's a hefty one. It's a dark one. It's a bittersweet one. You definitely realize it's a a strong dark, heavy red wine cask maturation with a lot of oak. A lot of French oak, and you even have a bit of a bit of sweet uh, smell in the nose. There is sweetness also, but uh, I wouldn't say apple strudel. For me, that is more like grapes with a bit of imagination. It's berries. Mm. I like it. Hmm. I forgot to mention 55.7% ABV. So if you are not a cask strength connoisseur, then you can definitely add some drops of water. And this is um, a dry one. You get a little bit of a dry feeling in your mouth, a little bit of a pelty feeling in your mouth, a lot of fruitiness. Although again, apple strudel. Mm -hmm. I would still say berries, cherries, wine notes, and a lot of oakiness. So you have a lot of French oakiness. Luckily, it's not too bitter. It doesn't. It's not over matured, but it's um, it's not very far from it. So give me that in a seven year old. It's definitely over matured. Very interesting. What the distillery might do in the future. Maybe they will reuse the casks and the casks will not give as much uh, flavor off to the whiskey so they can mature it longer. But uh, mature it longer in that combination, that I would definitely say that would be fatal in a few years for the whiskey. It would just be too much. But this time is now um, a very nice, very strong European oak whiskey with a lot of fruitiness and a very dry and pelty feeling. Usually I don't like the pelty feeling. Usually it comes from a very sweet sherry and you get a pelty feeling in your mouth and it's just 
uh, but here I like it because it's so so well balanced with the with the bitterness and the bitter sweetness. It does ha also have a nice uh, subtle spiciness to it. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, and it's and you realize it's not that old it does have tons of flavor from the oak where you think mm, it must be really old but it's still edgy it doesn't have the subst uh, subtractive maturation so there are still some edges in there especially from the cask strength where you realize okay mm, that's a a spirit drink that's uh, mm, that's kind of aggressive in my mouth and mm, it's a beauty it's not a, a perfect old for comparable to a perfect old a scotch in a oak uh, French oak cask and um, but it's a, a fresh Australian it's it's a nice it's a nice thing I like it so um, I can recommend it yeah that was it thank you very much for watching and see you next time <music>